So, um, so you plot four considerations. I don't know why this is not. Yeah, so four considerations, basically budget. So budget, you would have high, medium, low. So you've got three blocks over there, high, medium, low. Then you've got source of data. So source of data could be your uh, own line of business, other lines of business. So it's, it's, it's actually, if you talk about it, it should be sequential. So easiest thing to do is get your own line of business data. Then go to other lines of business. Then go to third party open data, which is government data, open APIs. And then you go to third party purchase data. And having said all of this, this is when you are on a low budget, when you're making a case for analytics in, in the organization. Now, analytics maturity. So are you in the operational reporting phase? Are you in the business intelligence phase? Descriptive analytics, dashboards, predictive, prescriptive, machine learning, deep learning. So that is how we plot the, yeah. That's good, thanks. So, so this is how we plot uh, the, uh, the sequence. And and type of data, you've got structured, semi-structured, unstructured. So now if somebody comes to me and says, what should be my highest value path? So you start with your own line of business. You may go in between descriptive, exploratory data analysis. Structured data still, you're making a case for analytics. You want to show some output. You want to do some quick wins. So we believe that we should not attack things just for the sake of it, right? I mean, if everybody else is doing deep learning, machine learning, our organization might not be matured enough to consume that. So you need to embrace the fact, you need to understand where in the analytics maturity curve is your organization or your client, and then suggest things uh, accordingly. So you start with, if you're on a low budget, you've got your own line of business, exploratory, structured, you make a use case, then you go to other lines of business, then you go to data visualization, then you go to predictive models, you use Google data, open API data, you do use semi-structured data, and then you go slowly when you've got more uh, use cases, you've got more buy-in from the business, you go to better and better, more sophisticated things. So where do you start? Where, so if somebody has not started, it's not too late. Um, like, like I discussed in the beginning, I might not have been using these uh, apps say even two years back. So the change is rapid. If you've not started, it's still, you can still start. Easy use cases to attack. Customer insights profiling. You need to know your customer. Who is your ideal customer? From where is he coming? What is, what is his lifetime value? Can you cross sell, upsell? So all these models are, are models that are very relatable, even to the higher management. So maybe you could start with this. Now, this is what we envision 2020 decision hub, customer analytics decision hub to be. Acquire, organize, analyze, deliver. So I talked about structured, unstructured data and having a highest value path. And once you have the path, you must be working towards a certain vision, right? So, um, so 2020, and I'm not talking about data warehouse because data warehouse sometimes can be a bit more rigid than we would like them to be. And change is so rapid that you might, today you might need something, tomorrow you might not. So, um, so you've got different data sources. Most important would be streaming data. So you start from here, you have streaming data, you've got staging data, uh, address data, your own LOB, different LOBs. You've got real-time algorithms working on the streaming data. You've got data integration transformation happening. All of this, like I said, in real-time, at scale, always on. So this is the mantra, real-time, at scale, always on. And you've got a logical data lake in place, which is virtualized, 
which, which might be on-premise, which could be virtualized. You've got a traditional RDBMS. So although a lot of people might talk about big data and uh, using, say, Hadoop or a MongoDB or uh, anything else for that matter for big data, but there are some things that RDBMS still does better. And uh, you need to just know where to put what. Um, so uh, RDBM, so you have to create something which is the best, best um, uh, tool for the best purpose. And this decision hub would actually, the, the outputs of the decision hub should be API driven. So if I am sitting in the marketing division and I want to know what is the risk propensity, and that's another, another uh, division, I should be able to ping this decision hub and get that sort of data to enrich my insights. So all my outputs from this hub would be API-based, would be um, batch-based, and uh, all of this put together would be a 2020 customer analytics decision hub. So what happens now? So once you've, once you've put in a customer analytics strategy, you plot your highest value path, you have decided your first use cases to tackle. So what happens? You need to be proactive. 2020 enterprise would be proactive. And what do I mean by proactive? You've got a customer, and you're an airline company, and his flight is canceled. And there's this immediate sense of disappointment. Um, and you know that the customer was your loyal customer. He always books flights with you. Uh, he has so many points. He's, um, he's always there for you. He's, he's, he's your advocate. He always um, pays in time, maybe. But then his flight is canceled. So you must be proactive enough to book him on another flight and send him a message that, hey, good news. You're being rebooked on the flight. Your boarding gate is this. So imagine the sense of uh, satisfaction the customer gets interacting with your brand. And this is possible only if we know the customer really, really well. 2020 Enterprise, we established this customer analytics data hub. So that, that enterprise will have brand advocates, not necessarily customers. You have, you have uh, one person walk into a cycle store, and you know that this guy has always bought. You're a bank. You know that this guy is a sports fanatic, always buys. Uh, gear, always buys cycles, always buys this. So how do you recommend the best, best recommendations to him? So you say that, OK, welcome. So you need GPS for that, or maybe even beacons uh, uh, in the recent trend, or Wi-Fi-based location mapping. You send him that there is a nearby meetup that you might be interested in, and you might be actually partners over there in the meetup with a certain brand. And over there, you might be cross-selling him something. And then you also tell him about the deals, the various deals that are there available on your platform or your partner's platform. So he gets excited. Now he goes to, he goes to that uh, meetup. He tweets about you, writes about you on Facebook. And you automatically get that like. So the important thing is that we've got 1 billion customers today. and most of the analytics companies in India, they're focusing on international customers for, for a lot of reasons. This market is tough. But it's not like before. So we've got people. We've got the channel, the phone. We've got people utilizing, using that phone, generating so much data for your brand to utilize. And let's reach 1 billion through ones and zeros, which is powered by analytics. Uh, thinking of each customer to be different. Thank you. Um, if you want to talk more, uh, I'm available. We've got some time for the questions. I know it's, it's right before lunch and everybody's sleeping. <laughs> OK. So thanks, uh, Juhi.
of course, uh, she is available for questions uh, offline. So, since we didn't have too much time for Mr. Prasad and uh, Juhi for questions, you can always meet them during the lunch break and uh, clarify questions. We want you to come up with questions that can help you uh, understand better. So, thank you so much. Uh, I'm sure everyone's hungry, so time to uh, feed yourselves with some good sumptuous food awaiting. Uh, we'll see you back at 2.30 as we start with our uh, next uh, panel discussion. It's a very interesting topic, and I'm sure you can't afford to miss it. Please be back at 2.30 uh, sharp uh, for our next uh, panel discussion. Thank you. And of course, uh, once again, reminding you, if you've not yet downloaded the app, uh, Cypher 2016, please do that because it's going to help you win some great prizes. We hope you're engaging. We hope you're posting some pictures, liking pictures. Please keep uh, engaging, interacting. Uh, with us on the app. And also, um, we have a dedicated uh, photo booth outside for the Cypher selfie competition. Uh, we're going to be announcing uh, winners uh, sooner this evening. So if you've not yet taken a selfie, do that. We have a very nice photo booth. I'm sure you'll love that experience. Thank you.